Hey guys, Kevin here. Um, this is my January update on what sold on eBay 2019. Um, pretty good month for January uh, this year. Last year I only did around uh, a thousand bucks in January due to my job. So this January I pretty much tripled that. So it's been a pretty good January. So, uh, so a lot of uh, unique stuff and some retail arbitrage and just a, a, a good mixture of a lot of different things. So let's get started here. This first item is a Power Rangers Ninja Steel 12 inch figure. This is a, an attempt of mine at retail arbitrage. Last year, uh, well, right before Christmas, Walgreens put a lot of toys on sale. Uh, this was this was one of the toys. Um, I actually had several of these, uh, about 30 or so. Uh, some yellow, some blue. Um, and I got them all for around, I believe it was around $3.50. Um, and, uh, I sold it for $13.99 free ship. All right, next up is this, uh, Pentax K1000. This actually came with a box and the lens, uh, all the original manuals and everything. This was a purchase from John the Cincinnati Picker, his website, uh, look what I found out bid. I believe I gave around 45, uh, for this. So a pretty good, uh, profit. Um, on this guy and k1000 sell really good for me just the camera body by itself it can bring you around 70 or 80 dollars if it's in good condition this one actually had the original manuals the original boxes uh, and uh, was in excellent shape i mean it was just good and shiny and the the the, uh, the lens was in great shape and it really uh, took a great picture so um, got the full asking of one twenty nine ninety nine for for this uh, for this lot. All right, next we have this Clarity um, cordless phone. Uh, these are these phones are made specifically for folks that have uh, hard hearing, hard of hearing, and uh, this was actually a thrift store pickup. I believe I paid $6.99 for this, um, but as you can see, looks like it was hardly ever used, if it was used at all. Um, so, I got the full asking of $54.99 free ship for that. Keep an eye out for the, any of the, any of the uh, phones, even normal phones that are uh, supposed to be enhanced for uh, or amplified for folks of hard of hearing. Those usually bring pretty good money. Okay, next is, this is an IBC root beer. This is a store display that you can fill up with ice and actually put the uh, product in it. It's usually, these are like the older country stores. Uh, you'd fill them up with ice and then actually put product in there and uh, it would be up by the cash register um, and, uh, and to have a, have a drain there for the, or the uh, ice at the end of the day or when you needed to fill it back up. Uh, this was a thrift store buy. Uh, um, I paid $7.99 for this and got the full asking of $69.99 plus shipping. Uh, anytime you have old advertising like that on, on any type of item that used to be in a store, it'll always bring you pretty good money. Okay, this is a pair of Reebok uh, hockey skates. Um, I found these at a yard sale. Uh, they were in awesome condition. The wheels were look like they had hardly ever been used, which makes sense in Tennessee that they they would have hockey skates. Um, somebody might have moved here and just put them out in the yard sale. I bought these at a yard sale for fifteen dollars, and uh, they they were clean. I didn't have to do much to them, and I had them originally listed at like fifty nine ninety nine. I took a best offer of thirty seven dollars and forty cents plus shipping, so not too bad of a profit there. Okay, here's another attempt, uh, an attempt at retail arbitrage. These were on sale um, at Walgreens uh, before Christmas, and 
I think I got them for two nineteen each. I think I got five or six of them. And a lot of these Walgreens items that I'm showing you, I also had a lot of Walgreens points built up. So uh, I got even more off of the sale price. So, so some of the things like those, uh, like those uh, Ninja Power Ranger Ninjas, 12 inch figures, some of those are like free because uh, I just used the points that I had built up. Uh, this was a shiny surface, so I don't know that using the uh, uh, blue background was a great idea on it, but I did get twelve ninety nine for this one. I sold several more of these. I think I sold all of these. Um, so I'm not going to show the rest of them, but I had two bucks in them, sold for twelve ninety nine free ship. So you know, still netted about eight bucks out of all of them, and I think I had five or six. So a uh, pretty good profit after I sold all of them. Okay, next up we got a Super Nintendo uh, Power Rangers game in the box. Um, this one, I bought this in a huge lot of games. Uh, you can probably see it back in in a, um, a few of my videos. This one actually had, I don't know why I didn't clean that off. I may have tried, I don't know. But alcohol, usually rubbing alcohol, take that right off. But... Uh, I forget what I had in these. It's not over ten bucks. I don't even think it's over eight bucks. I believe I, ha I have several of these. Um, sold this one for twenty seven ninety nine free shipping. Okay, here is another Super Nintendo um, video game in the box. This box is uh, in pretty rough condition. Um, this is Street Fighter Alpha Two, and the box is actually pretty rough. Um, the uh, the corner here is is uh, I don't know why I can't scroll. Sorry for no OBS guys. I've I had to put this together, put this uh, video together uh, on my on my phone. Um, I don't have my the OBS on my computer just won't cooperate with me. So this is the only way that I can show them. But anyway, the box is pretty beat up on this guy. Um, and I still got forty four ninety nine for it. This one's a pretty sought after game. Um, let's see if I can, yeah, there you go. So you can see right there that it was crushed. Uh, I just sold another one of these that had a better box for about fifty six dollars, I believe. But that won't be until the the February update. But anyway, still a good profit on that. All right, here is a pair of vintage Nike uh, all conditions gear boots. Uh, I believe these are probably early 2000s, maybe. Anyway, they were in really great shape uh, when I found them. And uh, I didn't really have to do much cleaning on them. And uh, they were... The bottoms looked like they had barely been used. So, uh, I, found the, I took a best offer of 50. I had them originally listed for 100 and went down to 79 and then I think sixty nine, and then someone sent me an offer of fifty. I paid nine ninety nine uh, at a thrift store for these, and that was fifty dollars plus shipping. All right, here is another retail arbitrage from Walgreens. Uh, these were on sale, plus I had uh, uh, points. I think I ended up getting these for. Um, uh, I think I got them for eleven dollars. And I had a I ha, had seven or eight of these, so sold them all for uh, twenty nine ninety nine free ship. All right, this is Metroid Prime uh, Nintendo GameCube. I got seventeen ninety nine free ship. All right, this is a Prince Racket. Um, I got this for three ninety nine at the thrift store. Got took a best offer of twenty seven dollars plus shipping. All right, here's a pretty good sale. This is a factory sealed Pokemon Silver version from Game Boy Color. Um, this was actually a trade-in. Uh, there's a bookstore here that will take trade-ins, and they have a ton of stuff that you can trade in for. I had probably 30 pounds of Lego. 
that I traded in uh, that I'd paid probably, I probably paid 40 or 50 bucks for. I traded it in and got this game. And uh, it was in, uh, well, it had one little dent on the back of it. and But other than that, yeah, right there. Had that had that dent, and uh, other than that, it was in great shape. It, and I got the full one hundred forty dollars free shipping. All right, this is a Brookstone grill tumbler. Uh, this is another thrift store pick pickup. I picked it up for eight ninety nine, I believe. Got the full asking of thirty two ninety nine plus uh, shipping. And I'm fine. I find that, and it was brand new in the box. Um, I find that anything Brookstone does well for me. Um, I don't know about you guys, but anything from massagers to uh, grill tumblers, basically, and everything that, that I find Brookstone does really well for me. So, yeah, I got the 30, $32.99 plus shipping. All right. Here is a HeroScape Master Set. This is Rise of the Valkyrie, and it was complete. Um, this one actually had all the uh, landscape pieces, had some castle pieces, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, had the box and everything. Uh, this was $4.99 at a thrift store. Um, as you can see, it has all the pieces, has all the, the characters has all the landscape pieces. This was a great find. Uh, usually don't find something like this. Uh, and I got the full asking of $69.99 plus shipping. All right, this is just a Phillips Magnavox boom box. This, I believe, was a yard sale pickup, but super clean. Um, I've, I'm pretty sure I paid five or six bucks for this one. Um, it uh, tested it out. There was no scuffs on it, hardly at all. This actually went overseas, and I got the full asking price of thirty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Okay, here's a good sale. This is a um, a GI Joe online exclusive from I believe two thousand five. This is a Rhino. Um, I picked this up in a lot that had probably forty or fifty GI Joe pieces. Um, this one was complete and in excellent condition. Um, this th this this vehicle wasn't originally in like the 80s figures and early 90s. Um, G.I. Joe, a real American hero. It wasn't those. This was, I don't think it was an anniversary edition, but it was just an exclusive online uh, that they did for that particular year. And uh, I got the full asking of $99.99. .99 plus shipping. All right, this is just a, a uh, an original DS with the box and paperwork. I actually uh, purchased the DS, uh, I believe, from John, the Cincinnati Picker, from Look What I Found Out Bid. And the box I got online, I got off of eBay for $11. So uh, I think I had a total of 19 bucks in this and sold it for 20 plus shipping. All right, this is uh, Mario Kart N64 uh, in the box with the manual and some pamphlets. Um, I got the full asking of $59.99 free ship. Um, this was a yard sale pickup with a huge lot of other items. And uh, the I, I'm pretty sure I paid $250 something for the entire lot. Uh but one of the Nerf guns that I had that that was in it was a sniper rifle, and it was a rare colorway. And that one Nerf gun almost paid for a lot. I'm, I believe I got a hundred and eighty bucks for that Nerf gun. So um, I got sixty. I would say that I only had about ten bucks in the game, uh, and that was a yard sale pickup. So pretty good profit there. This is a Dwayne Wade autograph from 2015-16, um, numbered to 40. This is just a 
Um, I buy, I like to buy boxes of cards. And uh, so this was just a pull from a few years ago. And I just decided to sell it. Um, got the 430 free ship. Okay, here's another Zelda. Uh, or another N64 game from that lot that the Super Mario came from. Um, I got 50 for it. Uh, free shipping and I paid probably around eight or nine bucks uh, considering the whole lot that I got because I got several games several DS's um, a lot of DS games a lot of N64 games a bunch of Nerf guns it was a huge lot for 300 bucks and uh, so I have about eight to ten bucks in this okay here's another retail arbitrage from Walgreens this is a World of Nintendo Super Mario Chomp. Um, I got this for, I believe, $2.85 and got $12.99 for it, free ship. Okay, this is another Walgreens pickup. Got $8.99 free ship. Uh, didn't make a lot on this because I think I picked these up for a buck eighty or something like that. But I had probably 10 or 15 of them, so... Uh, I think I have just a few of them left, so still decent after selling them all. All right, we have a uh, Sony Dream Machine ICF-CD3IP. This is a CD player and uh, an alarm clock. It, uh, this is a thrift store pickup. Um, I I think I only paid three bucks for this one. It wasn't much. It was a grand opening of a thrift store. It was half off everything. It might have been six bucks. Um, someone may have whispered to me that Sony sells. I don't know who might have said that. Maybe you guys know. Uh, but yeah, um, anything Sony, I always pick it up and it always sells. Okay, this is a G.I. Joe exclusive vehicle that was exclusive to Sears. Um, it's basically the vamp, um, normal vamp with a different colorway. Um, and it's the, it came in a set. There's a motorcycle with the same colors on it. And it was a dreadnought ground assault set that came from Sears. These are super rare. Uh, this one's incomplete. If they are complete with the motorcycle, loose, you can get 675 bucks. If you have the box with it, you can get over 1000 So these are super rare, super sought after by G.I. Joe collectors. And this was a trade. I traded a bunch of video game stuff uh, to a buddy of mine. And he has tons of old G.I. Joe toys that, that I've been accumulating over the years. So I decided to go ahead and put this one on there. I got 125 bucks um, for this guy. And like I said, it's basic. Uh, most of the time you don't see the doors with it, like I show here. Um, and this little missile launcher usually isn't on there either uh, when they're incomplete. But this one was in actually really good shape, uh, even though it was stored badly. Um, but otherwise, still... Um, I might have had five bucks in it, so $125 plus shipping. So a really good profit on, on this one. All right, this is a Pentax P3N 35mm. Uh, this is a thrift store pickup. I paid $6.99 for it, sold it for $49.95 free ship. And I like the black on the white background. It shows up really well. This one had the manual with it also, but yeah, it's a, uh, the Pentax, usually it's just the uh, K1000, but uh, some models you'll come across that are, that are good ones and some that don't sell very well. This was one of the, the better ones. All right, here we have an Atari 2600 Junior Mini. It's a black console. Um with the box and a joystick two joysticks one um out of the box one loose and one with the box and the power adapter also has its original box also um this was a pickup from uh, mothership products um 
auction. This was, uh, uh, I believe John the Cincinnati Picker was on that night. And I got a whole lot of video games and and uh, uh, consoles from him. Um, I paid 200 and like 8 bucks for the whole lot. Uh, and I'm still selling the video games, so... Uh, I would, I would count this as probably, I doubled my money on this, on this. I got fifty four ninety nine uh, plus shipping. This is just a Thule, uh, baby supporter. Um, I bought this at a yard sale for $3 and sold for twenty four ninety nine plus shipping. So, uh, just, just something random, uh, I saw in the box. So basically, and it was new. Still had the the paper on the inside, and I believe that that is a uh, bargain hunt sticker there. So um, it had already someone had bought it new, never used it, and uh, I still got twenty five twenty four ninety nine plus shipping. All right, love selling Guitar Hero guitars. This is a white Gibson Les Paul. This one's for the Wii. I got twenty seven ninety nine uh, free shipping. And I paid two dollars at a yard sale. This is a pet safe insta face insta fence instant fence uh power supply. Uh I bought this at a yard sale with two collars for five dollars. Uh and the collars I have listed separately and got forty nine ninety nine plus shipping on this. So I always want look for the pet safe instant fence and collars. All right, this is a lot, uh, not a lot, a uh, new container of cool three and a half uh, discs. These I bought at a um, thrift store for two ninety nine. I got thirty one ninety nine uh, free ship. And I believe you guys know the Sony sales. Here is a, of course, a VCR. I've had several hundred of them over the past year. <laughs> and that's a little bit of an, an exa exaggeration, but I have had quite a bit of them. Um, this one sold for fifty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Uh, it was very clean. It did not have the remote, uh, but it worked great. Um, and these, this, this sold pretty quick for me. I actually have another one that's listed right now. So, um, I paid, I think I paid four bucks at a thrift store. All right. This is a super Nintendo, uh, scope gun, uh, super scope. That's what it is. And this is actually from the Nashville flea market. I picked this up while I was out there in Nashville meeting up with Phil and Scott and uh, Steve and everybody that went to the Nashville reseller get-together. Um, this was one of the items that I picked up while I was out there. Sold it for $37.99 plus shipping. I paid 2 bucks for it um, there at the flea market. This is a pair of Sony Walkman headphones. Um, I paid like a dollar or two dollars for this. Um and sold it for forty four ninety nine free shipping, and the shipping this was a uh, first class. It was like three ounces, so like two dollars and sixty six cents. So really good profit on this one. Um, like once again, the Sony Walkman stuff. Well, the Sony stuff just sells great for me. So good profit on that one. All right, here's a good one. Uh, I actually bought this off Facebook Marketplace like a year and a half ago and forgot about it. And uh, listed it here recently. Uh, I bought this off of Facebook Marketplace for uh, seventy bucks and sold it for one ninety nine ninety nine plus shipping. And uh, the box was it was in not the greatest condition, and it had some of it cut off. But the system was in uh, essentially new condition, and the joysticks it had they were in great great shape. Came with pole position, had the original box and the charger for it and everything even had the old uh, RFI connector um, so yeah this was a this was a great a, a great sale for me 199 
paid 70 for it and uh, plus shipping sold really fast also so always look for the older consoles in the box uh, i know that's probably you know most of us know that but uh the atari 7800 is a is like the 2600 isn't great but the the 7800 obviously as you can see does really well okay this is a canon pixma Inject printer. This was actually retail arbitrage. This was on sale at CVS, and uh, it's brand new in the box. I got it for nine ninety nine. Sold it for twenty seven ninety nine plus shipping. All right, vintage Star Wars land speeder, twenty three dollars. This was a quarter of the yard sale, so I always pick up the vintage uh, uh, Star Wars stuff. Um, you can sell them individually and make really good money. All right, here's the other Super Nintendo uh, Street Fighter Alpha 2 with the good box. And this one actually had the manual too. I forgot about that. But the, the other one I sold for $44.99. This one I sold for $54.99. So keeping, that's a good, pretty good game. So keep an eye out for that one. All right, another retail arbitrage. This is uh, Luigi's Mansion three, uh, um, 3DS game, the brand new. Target had these for $3.50. I bought as many as I could. I think I have seven or eight. Uh, sold it for twelve ninety nine free shipping. All right, here's a good one. Um, anytime you can find a Guitar Hero that's still new, basically, um, in its original box and packaging, especially if it has an additional skin. Um, I bought this portion, the the Guitar Hero, not the skin. From look what I found out bid from John the Cincinnati Picker. I think I paid twenty bucks for that, and I got the skin from a, a thrift store for uh, four dollars. And as you can see, it's it was essentially brand new. It did not have the game in it, but I don't think these actually came with the game. Uh, but yeah, so twenty six bucks invested. I sold it for one seventy seven ninety nine free ship and. Um, it went fairly close to the shipping, wasn't much on it. So uh, over $100, $140 profit on, on that one. So uh, Guitar Hero has been very good to me. If you guys aren't finding the Xbox 360 Guitar Hero stuff, I wouldn't pick up the PS2 um, stuff because it's not as valuable as it used to be. But the Xbox 360 stuff is still pretty valuable, uh, especially the Les Pauls and the Explorers and... Um, like the Stratocasters, those are still somewhat valuable. And uh, I sell those all day long in the Wii um, Les Pauls. So, but there is value in the uh, in the Guitar Heroes, and you can pick them up pretty cheap as well. So that's what, that's what I like about them. All right, we have a Moonbeam clock here. It's a Bakelite West Clocks. Uh, this is an Art Deco design. Found this as a thrift store for two bucks. Sold it for thirty-five dollars. Uh, I think I took a best offer. I think I had it listed at fifty, and I took a best offer and a, of thirty-five plus shipping. All right, Twisted Metal uh, PS One. Um, this is the Greatest Hits label, the green label. Well, most most of your green labels are Greatest Hits, but um, yeah, that's what this is also. And uh, got twenty three ninety nine free ship. This was part of that lot that I bought off of uh, John the Cincinnati Picker off of uh, Mothership Products auction. All right, this is a, a vintage Casio writer. Uh, it's like a personal electric typewriter. Um, this was a thrift store pickup for four ninety nine. I sold it for thirty two ninety nine plus shipping. All right, PS one Resident Evil uh, Nemesis Black Label. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Um, this is the black label. Um, another pickup from John the Cincinnati Pickers uh, auction. $32.99 free shipping. Okay, here is another G.I. Joe vehicle uh, that I picked up from that lot from the uh, that went with the Rhino uh, that I showed earlier in the video. Uh, this is the uh, Rolling Operations Transport Command Center, the, or ROC. Uh, this one is also from 2005. Now, I only have the figure and the uh, 
the vehicle and I actually bought the box off of eBay for 20 bucks. So I was originally only going to sell it for like 89. So that $20 that I spent actually made me another 60 bucks. So I netted 40 just from buying the box to go with it. So that, that is the reasoning behind uh, me buying empty boxes and, and putting them together with, with the vehicles. Um, this was, this one was in excellent shape also. Um, so the box just added more value to it and basically I made a collector's lot out of it or, or completed the vehicle and got the full asking of one forty four ninety nine plus shipping. Uh, so I think I had maybe the $20 for the box. I might have 12 in the vehicle. So 32 bucks and then one, one forty five. That's pretty good. All right, this is a 12-inch Coke button. Um, got it at a thrift store for $6.99. Sold it for $37.99 plus shipping. All right, this is a Game Boy Advance Glacier uh, AGB-001 with the box. And I believe the, the manual is with this one also. Let's see. Uh, maybe not. One of them I do did have. Anyway... Uh, got the advance uh, from an online auction, bought the box separately for 10 bucks, and sold the entire thing. So I had about 18 in it, sold it for 50 plus shipping. I took a best offer. I think I had it on there for $69.99. So pretty decent on there. All right, and finally we have a the Bond America Ultimate Sweater Knitting Machine. Uh, this was a yard sale pickup. I paid twenty five for it. Um, I had heard this from the Crazy Picker Life, I believe. He had mentioned the sweater knitting machines, or maybe I saw it online. I believe it was complete. Um, I had the disc with it, which you need the computer disc uh, to run some of the the. I'm not well. I'm not really sure why, but. I know that while I was doing research for this, that seeing that it had the disc made a big difference. So I bought it for twenty five, sold it for sixty nine ninety nine, plus shipping. This went international, and that's all I got, guys. I didn't show everything. I didn't show some of the smaller things and some of the multiple things. But pretty good month altogether. Pretty happy with the sales. I really appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.